for a little experimentation with the imagination station. Kristen is here this morning with some giant <laughs> types of toothpaste, I guess, is what we're going to be making. Uh, something like that. This is a classic chemistry experiment, elephant's toothpaste. And because we're hosting You Be the Chemist competition this Saturday, I thought it was good to do a little bit of chemistry. Do elephants brush their teeth? The healthy ones do. The healthy ones do. Good <laughs> so answer. Let's start off with something you can do at home. Um, now, the star of our show for chemistry is this stuff in this brown bottle right here. What is this, Chris? Hydrogen peroxide. Exactly. Pretty much everyone has that at home. Everyone has it at home. And the cool thing about hydrogen peroxide is that the chemical formula is H2O2, which sounds a lot like... Water. Water, exactly. And within six months' time, it actually breaks down into water and oxygen gas. And the reason why it's in this brown bottle here is because if you expose it to UV light, it'll happen a a little bit faster, uh -huh. but not too much faster. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to make it happen a little bit faster. So, I have hydrogen peroxide that I put in my pop bottle right here, and we're going to capture that gas, that oxygen gas, in some bubbles. So, Chris, we have some dish soap over there. Will you go ahead and will you just do a nice squirt into our bottle over there? That should be great, perfect. And let's take a look. Do we see massive amounts of gas being released? Any bubbles? Nope, nothing going on. No, that's because it takes a while. That means we need a catalyst to make this happen a lot quicker. All right. Catalyst is gonna speed up the reaction without actually being used up in it. So our catalyst today is, ta-da, we have yeast. For like baking bread? Yeah, exactly. All, All right. sorts of yeast you can do with this experiment. So we're Which gonna... yeast makes bread rise, mm -hmm. correct? Correct, it does. Okay. So I mean, it makes sense that it would be a catalyst. So I want you to take a pinch of this yeast and put it in our nice warm water over there. Okay. And then you're going to stir it up. Yeah, you can even do another pinch too. All right. And it works better with warm water. It would still work if we put just classic yeast in, but it'll be easier to pour for you. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Perfect, that looks great. Now, Chris, what I want you to do is I want you exactly to pour that water and yeast catalyst in, and we'll see what happens. And as we can see, we have a reaction building and building. We're getting more and more bubbles. And the fun thing with this is you can do all sorts of different variations on this at home. So maybe more yeast, less yeast. Um, this would be for a smaller elephant, as you can see but maybe the size of a small dog. And you can see there are those bubbles being released. Now, if you wanna do this at home, you can find the recipe right, well, the experiment on our website, so. It's simple ingredients. Definitely, all stuff you would happen. have holding at home. So, we have Voila. this going here. I know, so that's pretty cool, but we're all for extreme science, right? Yes, we are. Do you wanna see something you can't do at home? Yes, we do. Perfect, I'm gonna move this to the side. And as you notice, we have our graduated cylinders right over here. Now, our graduated cylinders, they're technicolor, and that is because we put food coloring along with hydrogen peroxide in here. We're gonna line these up right about here. We'll do the middle of the table, fantastic. Now, the stuff I have in here, Chris, is 35% concentration. And that's why we're wearing safety goggles right now. It is 10 times stronger than the bottle you would have at home, which All would right. be three times, or excuse me, um, about 3% concentration. Okay. So I put food color in all of these, and I put soap in three of these, except for that one over there. So we have some dish soap over there. And would you please put that in your graduated cylinder? Okay, all this in this one? All that in this one. So what we saw before with our reaction, that released about 10 times its volume in oxygen gas. This stuff, the stronger stuff, is going to release 100 times its volume in oxygen gas. This is gonna get Serious real quick. It's gonna get real serious All right. real quick. So Let's we did our dish soap, we have our peroxide, what are okay. we forgetting? Uh, the catalyst. The catalyst, exactly. For our stronger hydrogen peroxide, we actually have a stronger catalyst. It's potassium iodide. Okay. So Chris, I'm gonna take two, you take two, and then we're gonna do a countdown from three, and then I want you to dump your two into this one and that one. Sound okay. good? All right, you ready? Sounds good. All right, in three, two, one. So I'm gonna do a dump and let's take a step back. Cheers. <laughs> Very nice. So as we can see, it's releasing that oxygen gas and it's slowly building and we have this reaction taking place a lot quicker than what would normally take six months is now taking <laughs> six seconds. Thus our elephant toothpaste. <laughs> yes, exactly. And it's gonna keep going. It is gonna keep going. And if we take a step forward, it feels a little bit warm because it's actually releasing heat in something called an exothermic reaction. <laughs> wow, we 
So this weekend we're hosting UB the Chemist. We're actually closed on Sunday, unfortunately. Okay. But so um, so some holiday hours then closed holiday on hours, Sunday. Exactly. But we'll be reopened this Monday. And you guys love science and making a mess. Oh, just like do. you did in our studio this morning. We appreciate you coming in. And of course, you guys just down the street at the Imagination Station. Check it out for fun and exciting science before I get swamped away <laughs> by the bubbles. Coming up on W211 New York.